हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क ट्यूटोरियल सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव सीन अबाउट द डेटा टाइप्स इनसाइड द पाइस पार्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन यूज द डेटा टाइप्स फॉर डिफाइनिंग द कॉलम्स इन साइड ए टेबल सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ए टेबल विद द कॉलम डेफिनेशन we have already seen inside the sql server we are required to specify the create then the table name then what will be your table name we need to specify then the column name data type and the constant so this is the syntax we have to follow by defining or creating the table inside the sql server but inside the pi spark here we can see the little bit difference so the first thing we need to import all the required data types so here as we can see we are going to import the data type as struct type struct field integer string and decimal so these we are going to import without importing we cannot use it so this is predefined libraries and by using those libraries we can import it so those libraries are available inside the pi spark now we need to define the schema so how we can define the schema so for defining the schema first we should be going to start with the struct type so what is the struct type so struct type is a type which will be used for defining the schema inside the pi spark and it will be taking the column names as an input parameter so inside the input parameters we can see this is the first one this is the second one this is the third and fourth so total four columns we are having so that's why we can see four input parameters so next we can see the struct field so struct field is used for defining the column name and the data type of that column so the first one we can see id and what will be the data type that is the integer type last parameter is indicating whether this will be null error or not so as we can see true false we can define it here now the next one we can see name then the age and then salary so we are having these four columns in the schema so this is a syntax we have to follow for defining the schema and the last if you want to create any data frame then simply we have to use the spark dot create data frame then inside the bracket first will be your data and second will be your schema so i hope you have understand here let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to implement this in practical so here let me try to import all the required data types first so how we can import we need to use the from then the pi spark dot sql dot types then we can use the import and after that either we can specify the required types or we can use the asterisk as well so what asterisk will do asterisk will be going to import all the types so instead of going to use the asterisk better we should be going to specify one by one so first one is the struct type second one is the struct field and one is the integer type then we have string type then the decimal type and then the date type so all these we can simply import so after importing we have to specify the schema but before going to specify the schema let me quickly create a data so for creating the data let me use a variable as data and inside this variable let me try to use the total four columns first is the your id second will be your name third parameter will be your age so age could be 30 and fourth parameter could be your salary so salary i am going to specify as 4000 maybe so this is the one data we have let me use another row here so this could be having id 2 name could be abhu and age could be 32 and salary could be 5000 so this is having the actual data but as we can see this data is not the proper one it does not have any headers so we need to specify the schema and we'll try to bind that schema with this data so how we can do that let me try to use a schema 
as a variable now here as i told you we are required to use the struct type so here we can simply use the struct type and inside that we can specify all the required columns so for that first we are required to use the struct field then it will be asking total three parameters the first parameter will be indicating the name so that is id second parameter is indicating the type so i am going to use the integer type and the last parameter it is saying whether that is nullable or not so i am going to say like true so this could be having the null value there for the second one we can simply copy the first row here and add another column here and let me call this as name and the type this should be string type so let me use the string type here let me use the another one and this is for the age so let me use the age and the last one could be for the salary so let me use the salary here so now we are good with the schema we have defined the schema as id name age and salary now let me try to bind this schema with the actual data so how we can do that let me try to create a new data frame so spark dot create data frame now inside this first we are required to specify the actual data so that is the data and second is the schema so this is the schema now let me try to see whether we are successfully able to see the data from this data frame or not so here it is saying this error so this is because this type we have not used the bracket so let me use the bracket in all the places and now let me try to execute it okay so this is again saying error because first we are use this small bracket then the big one so we need to reverse this bracket so this is the syntax you have to remember or you can also check it from google so here as we could see it is having total four columns with the id name age and salary so all these four columns are here and we are having the data there as well now in the next video we will see how we can read this particular csv file and the column names that we can see soid so date item code instead of having all these it should be having the so underscore id so underscore date so whatever the name of the columns we want to specify we should be specifying and use that particular schema along with the data type thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video